Oh god, we're about to get spooled. We might have to turn the boat. Chase them, chase them. We're about to get spooled here. Dang, Caitlin, that is a freaking Beautiful. fat yellow tail. Caitlin, get this rod. <laughs> Double hookup. Double cluster. Woo! Yeah, I got yes, Well, good morning. We are going to Marathon today. We're going uh, with Mark Gable and his wife Lori, and we're gonna, not sure what the game plan is, but I plan on deep dropping the, the Thunderbolt, maybe a couple wrecks going out to the Marathon humps. We're gonna be offshore and, uh... oh, you know what, if we're gonna be, we forgot the weights. <laughs> Reverse. All right, we're going back home. Be right back. Five minutes later. Here's our precious weights for deep dropping the wrecks. Did you get the belly hoop, baby? I didn't get it, no. Did you? Two thousand years later. Well, despite having like a hundred vertical jigs at my house, I forgot the vertical jigs. So we're stopping here at the Tackle Center in Isla Mirada. Oh, handicap parking. Oops. Jared, you can't stay here. Uh, I just, really? Okay, hold on a second. You have like a pretty recognizable car that everyone knows you're not handicapped. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, anyways. I'm gonna go run inside, grab some vertical jigs, because after all, we are going to the wrecks, and there's nothing better than vertical jigging a wreck. So I will be right back. One eternity later. It's looking really nice out. Flat blue water. Pretty rare these days, these winter days. Got ourselves two vertical jigs. We're about 20 minutes away from Mark's house. If you're in Marathon and you're looking for a, a fishing charter, or like sightseeing or booze cruising, whatever it is that you wanna do on the water. Mark is officially a certified captain. He's got a nice boat. I'ma put his information right here. If you ever wanna reach out and do a trip like the one we're about to do right now, shoot him an email, give him a call, but it's time we do some fishing. Have arrived in Marathon. Mark and Lori. Hi. What's gonna happen today? Man, I have no idea. <laughs> I think we're gonna catch a beautiful sailfish or oh. ten. Or ten. Or ten. Or ten. Ooh. I like the optimism. <laughs> right? So first we're gonna catch Ballyhoo. I think so. On the reef edge. And then I think we'll just go from there. Hold up, why are we going back to the house right now? <laughs> I forgot something. <laughs> forgot the camera. Forgot the cameras. That's pretty important yes. when you're trying to film a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Anything else you want today? If you forgot it, you can't come back. You got time for this. <laughs> you got time for this. We got time. Time to get back on the road, or on the water. Take two. Well, we decided to run right past the reef. We're not gonna stop and catch live bait. We ran right out here to 115 feet of water where there's wrecks, and we're just gonna drift over the wreck, drop some vertical jigs, drift some ballyhoo and some squid, and see what we hook up on. For some reason, my camera didn't record any audio, so let me just explain what's going on here. This is the rig that I'm gonna drop down. This is a stinger rig that you can find on the South Florida Fishing Channel Dot com website and it's basically a piece of wire with a treble hook and I'm going to attach a whole squid to it. You just lightly hook this squid right on the top like that so it has good motion to it. It can flutter around, there's no issues. And that squid is tied directly to 50 feet of leader. This leader has a loop 
for attaching a weight that you'll see in a moment, but chuck it out there. You can buy this leader on the website. It's called the Wind On Leader with Weight Loop. Basically, there's a loop that you can attach a weight to. For this, you use the weight clip. The weight clip attaches to the weight, and the weight clip also attaches to the loop. Drop it down, let it get all the way to the bottom, and then give it a few reels and just let it sit in the rod holder and wait for a bite. Let me just make it easy for you guys. I'm gonna add a link to the weight clips, to the wind on leader with a weight loop, to the stinger tip in the video description below. But that's all there is to it. Now you drift over the wreck and if something swims by and grabs your bait, your rod will bend on over and then you better crank that sucker on up. On the squid. Nice. Yeah girl, get it. Woo yeah. Real, real, real. It's my lucky day. Big uh, flag yellowtail. Yeah. I'm talking flag, boys. Flag. Bam! Heck yeah! That's a big yellowtail. <laughs> That's a big yellowtail. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big. Dang, Caitlin, that is a freaking Beautiful. fat yellowtail. Healthy. Yeah, that is one of the biggest ones I've seen in a while. Wow. <laughs> Stoked. That's like bigger than a mutton. Wow. It's beautiful. It's like. Pinch the tail. 21. 21, a little over 21 inches. Big yellow tail. It's on the stinger tip. Mm hmm. Old squid over the Rex. Rex hold nice yellow tail. I'm gonna drop down a vertical jig. Drop, drop it down. Dang it! I just got bit off. My vertical jig just got bit off. Kingfish. I just bought that thing. Oh, that's a big kingfish. Flippity floppers. Well, I just lost one of my vertical jigs. The one I just bought. So big kingfish down there. What I'm gonna try this time is our new lip candy jig head. They come in three packs, half ounce, one ounce, two ounce. They come in all sorts of sizes, but we'll take, take a jig head, tip it with a piece of squid, a whole squid, just like that. And you drop that down to the wreck, and then once it gets to the wreck, you kind of just pop it back up towards the boat, catch anything like that, cobia, blue marlin. <laughs> Not a blue marlin, but we'll see what we get. Fish on, fish on! It's when you wish you worked out more. Yeah, yeah baby. You got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby. Oh, oh porgy. Oh, big porgy. Porgies are good. Those are good eating fish. Yeah. Nice. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. Just, just hooked a fish on the lip candy jig. We got it. Looks like we got a nice mackerel or something here. Try to just tire him out. I'm gonna whip him in the boat. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, simple flick of the wrist. Yeah, Bam! Yeah. That's a kingfish. Definitely 20s. Oh yeah, he's good to go. First yeah, kingfish on the boat on the lip candy jig. You know we gotta slit his throat. Yeah, we'll just slit his throat here. There you go. Bam! Woo, yeah! Been catching a lot of fish, but I think we're about to catch a little rain cloud now. Just a little rain, and then it'll be sunny again. Welcome to the Keys. Oh, welcome to Florida in general. Despite us catching lots of fish, there's isolated thunderstorms everywhere. So what we're gonna do now is run out to the marathon humps. Hopefully the weather will be better. Let's see what we get out there. Some big boy waves out here.
Well, it was pretty rough out there. We made it about nine miles offshore, and then we said, it's too rough, we're coming back. So we're back at the, the wrecks out here. This is the Thunderbolt, the Thunderbolt. And we're gonna try tr slow trolling some ballyhoo on the stinger rig and um, see if we can't produce a bite. If that doesn't work, we'll drop our rods back down to the bottom and drift it. You know what time it is? Put a new stinger rig on. Mm -hmm. We just need one. They come in packs of three. Just snap it back on and be good to go. Put a ballyhoo on that and you just slow troll it around the wreck. Money shot every time. Why don't I show y'all how to prepare a ballyhoo? This is how I do it. Break the beak off, just like that. Then I cut the back of the tail, cut the tail off. And I kind of lightly take all the scales off, just like that. Just like that. And then I take the knife, and I run it down the center like this. Kind of split the tail. Then I take all the guts out. Pinch the back, makes it swim better. Kind of squeeze it a little bit. And there you go. Take that front uh, J hook put it through the nose holes, through the nostrils, give it a nose ring, just like that. And then stick the treble hook in the back, like that, so it all sits in line. And then you just slow troll that going four miles an hour, and that's all there is to it. Back in uh, slow trolling action. Yeah! So I want to get that other one in or no? Yeah, I'll get it. Where's that gaff at? Oh yeah. Woo! It's on the stinger rig here. Let me get up right in here. Yeah, another kingfish. Woo! Flick him in! Yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> Screwed the gaff. Yeah, right. Good job, Good job Caitlin. Good job! All right. For me. You get it, babe. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, oh, God, we're about to get spooled. We might have to turn the boat. Chase them, chase them, chase them, chase them. We're about to get spooled here. Oh, we're on the backing. Turn that boat around. Reel as hard as you can. Faster, babe, faster. You gotta catch up to him. Faster, sweetheart. We're going over him. Oh, he's in the engines. Keep the rod low so it's not touching the boat. You wanna take over here, Let me just get him out from under the boat. I chased him too fast. He's going like this way under the boat. Yeah, we got it back and yeah, just like that. Okay. All right, here you go, babe. It's a good finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, just real. Yeah, just like that. Woo! Woohoo, that's a big boy! That's a big boy! Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he's chafing root. All right. Okay. Oh. No, watch out. He's going to run. What is it? It's a king. Nice big. Yeah, I go. Yes, oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> all right. Ooh, all right. Holy smokes. That's a smoker. 
that's a smoker. Heck yeah. All right. That was awesome. Good Man, that, that was a freaking fight and a half. Yeah. I'm gonna just unclip this stinger tip. I'll smack a brand new one on. Bam, and he can have it. That's his lunch. Mm. Hold him up. You think he's gonna have a meltdown? Probably, but I believe you can do this. Um, same way like normal? Yep. <laughs> Wait, let just me. Just watch the teeth. You got this, like a, girl. I don't want to get my hands bit off. You're gonna need to put both both your hands one in one gill and the other in the other go. Alright. Alright. Hold him up real high. I don't know how to hold him. <laughs> Ooh, good work. Yeah. Yeah. Big boy. Wow. Lift him all up. I can't. <laughs> He's almost as big as you. Right? The thing is, I want to have big this way. This is really heavy. All right. Good work, girl. All right. He's all yours. All right, drop him down. Lori's on. Rock him, babe. Get that rod in, Caitlin. We're just back here holding the cameras. I know. Chilling. <laughs> Chilling like villains. We're like, do this. Go faster. Go faster. <laughs> do it harder. Loosen the drag, tighten the drag. Throw the rod in the water. How's it looking? Is it a monster? Yep. Ooh, I see it. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. There you go. Oh my god. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have done it. It's I knew okay. I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. I knew I shouldn't have touched it. I had a feeling. I was like, don't help, just stand back. Yeah, I saw that. All right, redo. We're back on again. Seems good. Yeah. yeah. Now we're talking. All right, I'm staying away. <laughs> you. That's looking like a good fish right yeah, there. I think that's a good one. Wait, Caitlin, get what do you this mean? one. I'm with the camera. Oh, oh. <laughs> Double hookup. Double cluster. <laughs> Woo! Look at him go. Newlies. It's a race. Who's going to get their fish in first? <laughs> Let's get Lori's fish in first. Hi, go. It's like not moving. It's not moving. No, he's hooked in the mouth. Double hook. Yeah. Let me see. There you go. There's still a fish on it. Yeah, I, the there. fish is still on there. I don't know. This is weird. You know what? We're gaining on it. Yeah, he could be foul hooked. Yeah. That could be a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm babying him. Yeah, like that's, a that's... rockabye baby. Yeah. In the ice box. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, fish. I don't understand why he's not coming. Yeah. It doesn't even look like that big of him there. Or maybe. The tail, probably. Oh, I see him. There he is. He's trying to swim under the boat. This is so weird, I can hardly move him. Oh, he is foul hooked. Mm. Oh, oh, there he is. Bro. Look at him go. We had him and lost him. Oh. The boat. Yeah, clean release, good release, guys. <laughs> Very sportsmanlike. <laughs> You know, us sport fishers, we were catch and release kingfish all day long. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, snap. Okay, um, hold on, hold on. Okay. I don't want to tighten it too much, though. Real hard, don't stop reeling. Yeah, real like you've never reeled before. What if I get tired? <laughs> what if I get blisters on my fingers? That sounds like a problem we gotta worry about afterwards. <laughs> we'll put some lotion on it. Here it is, it's about 30 feet from the boat. You got this. Can't. Yeah, you got it, Keep reeling. It's seen the boat and it wants to turn around, but you didn't let it. That's good. Oh! Yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> this is not fair! We, I might need some support. Straight up and down. You got yeah. this, you got this. You got it, baby. No, my wrist is gonna break. He's almost here. Look, the yeah. leader's right here. He's yeah. only about 40 feet from the boat. 30 feet. 25 feet. I see, I him. see him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he's right here. You need to get one of those like balls to squeeze while you're yeah. at a desk. To make yeah, your wrists real strong. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here he comes. Give him one nice. We need him a little bit closer to me. Okay. Here he okay. comes. Yep, yep, yep. He's coming. Hold on. Ready? Yeah, good job. Good job, Lori. Woo hoo! Nice one. <laughs> That's the only part that hurts. <laughs> Good job, baby. Good stuff. He's in the Ooh, yeah. For a vacation, man. Good job. See, I knew you could do it. I'm telling you. 
mean, it was a foul hook too, so he was pulling hard. That's probably why he was so tough there at the end. There he is. Stay still for me, buddy. <laughs> well, I would say that we have enough kingfish in the boat. And now it's time. What are we gonna do? Throw a, throw some kingfish steaks on the grill? Sounds good. Yeehaw! Yeah. All right, let's go back in and cook up some kingfish. Sells a nice kingfish fillet right here. We're about to throw these on the grill. I am looking forward to that. Got the bloodline out. Damn, there we go. That's a nice piece of kingfish. We got the Traeger. The Traeger is set to two, no, 350 degrees, and we got we got a little party pack going on here. You're gonna have to remind me what flavors they are. Jeff Chang's Kung Pao. All right, oh wait, that is, we got this kingfish marinating in P.F. Chang's Kung Pao marinade. Then what's this one? Soy sauce and peanut oil. Soy sauce and peanut oil. And last but not least, Olive Garden Italian and um, they've been marinating for about 30 minutes and we'll throw them on the trigger, grill them up and give them a try. Let's go with Olive Garden first. Olive Garden. Olive Garden marinade. A little bit together. A few minutes later. That's done. Soy sauce. That's a lot of kingfish. That's a lot of kingfish. Mark's over here vacuum sealing all the kingfish we didn't manage to eat. We don't have a lot. A lot of leftovers. Mine are gonna go in the smoker. What about you? Same. Smoked fish, kingfish. Yeah. But the grilled kingfish was, I would say, really good. Way better than I thought. Yeah. What was your favorite flavor? The uh, P.F. Chang's. Kung Pao sauce. Yeah. Yeah. P.F. Chang's Kung Pao sauce. That was my favorite too. Then I like the soy sauce. 
That was good. They were all really good. Can't go wrong. The Olive Garden was surprisingly good. I didn't. Yeah. I wouldn't count on that. The Olive Garden yeah. sauce. That was pretty damn mm. Lots of goodness. Next time you catch a kingfish, throw that sucker on the grill. That grilled kingfish was pretty good. But now I'm doing my favorite thing ever. Smoke kingfish for some smoke kingfish fish dip. Thank you, Mark and Lori for taking us out. If you're ever in Marathon and you wanna go out on Mark's boat, you wanna go fishing or do some sightseeing, shoot him an email or shoot him a text or shoot him a call. Here's his info right here. Let him know you saw the video on the South Florida Fishing Channel and I'm sure he'll set up a great trip for you. Anyways, let me do a little boat update here. Ooh, it's windy. She is still out of commission, but I have decided it is time that I pull the plug and get a brand new engine. Many of you guys have been sending me links to used engines and this and that. I think I've decided for me to really grow my YouTube channel. I wanna do solo fishing trips to Bimini. I wanna run offshore for more swordfish. I wanna be able to just fish every day whenever I want with no complications on if my boat's gonna turn on or not or if my boat has the capabilities to get me there or not. So new engine, I wanna put a tower on the boat which will make mahi fishing and all that offshore stuff much easier and a few other upgrades. That's gonna happen right here, right now. Taking the boat out of the water uh, tomorrow and then the journey of finding a new engine starts. I'm already talking to a couple of brands. Really at this point, I'm just trying to figure out who can get me the best deal and um, how I'm actually going to make this whole thing work with putting a new engine on there because it ain't cheap. I think I'm gonna try to put a 250 on there. I'll make sure I keep you guys updated on all this exciting stuff going on here. Obviously there's one main goal and that's to get back on the water and to keep pumping out videos. But I do have another video coming out shortly. I'm editing right now. If you guys really wanna help support the channel, make all this possible so I can make more videos, go buy yourself some of those Kingfish stinger rigs that we, uh, that we use today to catch all these Kingfish. SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Scroll through some rigs, put some stinger rigs in your cart. Early next month, I got a whole line of trolling rigs coming out. Weedless squid rigs, ballyhoo rigs, teasers, daisy chains. It's all coming to the shop. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye.